Rice is a staple for over half of the world's population. However, crop yields are not always consistent. Soil and weather conditions and cultivation methods can affect the outcome of the harvest. I'm Eunice Olsen, media personality and author. I come from a family with Swedish and Chinese heritage. My interest in China has brought me here, a country rich with 5,000 years of history, where I hope to discover and experience the exciting changes that are taking place in this land of wonder. Today, my adventure brings me to Sanya in Hainan province, right where the third generation hybrid rice crop is being tested. China has 7% of the world's arable land, and yet she's able to feed 22% of the world's population. This is an unprecedented feat, a global miracle created by China. But behind this miracle are countless people dedicated to this work. Academic Yuan Longping, also known as the father of hybrid rice, and his research team are representatives of this passionate group. And in recent times, a group of energetic young people are following in the footsteps of Yuan Longping, inheriting the spirit of the old generation of scientists, riding the waves of the paddy fields, and striving to move forward. Hello,你好,你好,你好,你好。那你現在在田裡做什麼工作呢? 这是我们水稻栽培上面的一个很关键的一个步骤 is a hybrid rice agriculturist One of Yuan's favorite students, Li is now leading the next wave of hybrid rice research 在田里面会不会很辛苦啊? 我们一年四季的话基本上都在田里面工作Lee's passion in rice crop research stems from his childhood experience. From childhood, I was born in the village. At that time, the land was low, and the meat was very bad. And the meat was very bad. And the meat was very 听的就是我们湖南龙大的一个文学专业 And that's where Li met his mentor, Yuan Longping 90-year-old Yuan is the pioneer and expert in hybrid rice technologies He has been researching and developing hybrid rice varieties since the 1970s boosting crop production from 4,500 kilograms per hectare to a world record of more than 18,000 kilograms per hectare. Through his work in hybrid rice, Yuan has contributed hugely to securing China's food security and global food supply. To a young agricultural undergrad, it's a dream come true to be able to study under such a legend. Nathan 
，看到那个田之后呢，他他觉得这个田长势很，长长势很好，这个穗子也很大，他就问身边的人员，就说这块田是哪个种的，就把我交过去，交过去一看的话，后面他说的对我的印象就是特别黑。就说当时我不是在呃东南亚了，我那里刚好种了四个多月，就晒得很黑很黑，所以他对我的印象就觉得这个人的话就比较能吃苦耐劳，是吧 ？Lee's grit and hard work impressed Yuan so much that he was allowed to join Yuan's research team after graduation, even though the criteria for doing so was a postgraduate degree. 当时我真的特别激动，对我来说可能一个大大的一个惊喜，真的是。Besides this unique opportunity, Li is also appreciative of Yuan's style of leadership. He will give you a specific point, a point on the face. He will give you a solution, and then you can think for yourself, and you can think for yourself. I think this will bring a good student, and bring his knowledge to other parts of the school. What inspires Li most is the passion that Yuan holds towards hybrid bias. 他家田的话比我们还频繁，他每天基本上定时定点他要去看一下，而且风雨无阻，下几集他就会去。所以的话，我觉得他这个对杂交水的这个感情，是他发自内心的一个一个喜喜爱。Following Yuan's footsteps, Li has dedicated the past ten years of his life into hybrid rice cultivation and research, and he plans to keep trudging on, no matter how hard it is. Today. Hybrid rice makes up more than 600 million tons of rice production in China, feeding 70 million people yearly. Behind this achievement is a team of researchers like Li, who work in paddy fields under scorching heat all year round, testing and experimenting tens of thousands of various rice crops to find the highest yielding and most robust breed. As Li Jianwu is cultivating high-yield rice hybrids at the Hunan Hybrid Rice Research Center in Changsha, Xing Junjie is conducting other unique experiments. Dr. Xing? Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. Yeah. So what are you doing? I'm a tractor. Uh, rice blast fungus DNA. So do you have to do this with different species of rice? Yes, and we collect uh, rice blast fungus uh -huh. from different rice varieties and uh, the neck of the rice spike. Right. In 2012, Xing Jinjie decided to focus on strengthening hybrid rice crops, making them more robust and pests and disease resistant. It was a completely new field and Singh had to navigate through uncharted waters to get started. With Yuan's support, Singh was able to build a team and set up an accredited laboratory quickly. Over the years, Singh and his team have made some award-winning breakthroughs in their research. Recognizing the hard work that the team has put in and the importance of the research, Yuan has pledged a new lab in the coming year to help the team move forward. This is welcomed news to Singh, who has big hopes in boosting the sustainability of hybrid rice. I hope through our research, we can achieve a real population of hybrid rice. As these researchers continue to develop hybrid rice technology, there is another group of young people promoting this innovation abroad. Yuan once said, hybrid rice was born in China, but it belongs to all mankind. Bringing hybrid rice all over the world is precisely what Liu Famo has been doing. In the past 10 years, Liu has been sharing hybrid rice technologies with people in Africa. 
。我当时去非洲只是因为我的工作的需要。去了那里之后，我发现那里的呃条件非常的差，那个水稻的水平很低。然后我是学这个农学的，然后我能够用我的知识去改变当地的情况。Initially, the locals were very skeptical. 实际上，当地的人。他的种植理念，他种植习惯是已经根深蒂固了。你要去改变他的习惯方式很难。我们去这样单纯的去跟他讲，杂杂交稻能达到什么样的产量，他们是不怎么接受的，也不相信的。然后我们展示给他们看，我们种了什么，但是这样的展示也只是在电脑上，还不是眼见为实。所以我们邀请他们到我们中国来，去来参观、来看、来参加培训，让他实际的感受到，哎，我们的杂交水稻确实是能达到这么好的产量。Seeing firsthand how hybrid rice could produce a much higher yield, the African farmers were convinced. When I saw that they accepted our technology, I was very happy. Because through my hard work, I changed the local farmer's situation, making more people able to eat rice and eat rice. Where we need it, we go to where we need it. 哪里的水稻产量低，我们就去哪里帮助他们提高他们的水稻产量。我们的目标呢，希望在将来每一个国家都能使用杂交水稻技术，保证自己国家的粮食安全。It's so easy to forget how difficult it is to get a bowl of rice to the table. Rice is a staple food and so important in the lives of many people. And that is why China has a new generation of hybrid rice technology researchers who want to follow in the footsteps of Yuan Longping and continue this very important research. Not only do they want to help their own country, they also want to continue using this technology to help many people in different parts of the world tackle food scarcity. That is truly admirable. 希望我们培育的杂交水稻可以造福世界上更多的人。希望通过我们的努力，让杂交水稻技术始终引领全球。我的梦想是让杂交水稻更好吃、更营养、更绿色、安全。